Hi, in this video I'm going to cover how to use the Scenario Manager. Now the Scenario Manager is located within the Data tab and under Data Tools and with the What If Analysis set of commands. Now what the Scenario Manager does is it What If Analysis determined based on a number of inputs and changing those inputs what kind of output you would get. So here's an example. Let's say for example that we have uh, we're going to eat lunch every day, well maybe the working days, and we have to decide whether or not we want to bring lunch and bring lunch may be costing five dollars a day or buying lunch which may cost ten dollars a day and maybe our chances of eating out that way we'll buy lunch is fifty percent of the time. Now based on those variables let's say our monthly cost is going to be 165. Now we figure 165 we'll look at 22 working days. There's 30 days a month and we'll assume the weekends we're not working and we're going to assume that there's 22 working days out of a month and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the chance that we're going to eat out times the the amount that it's going to cost to eat out and add the chance that we don't eat out 1 minus 50 percent that 50 percent times um, the value that we're going to times the the cost to bring lunch so that comes out to be a hundred and sixty five dollars a month now we can do this where we can change the the variables here let's say we have a ten percent chance that we're going to eat out then it's whoops not a thousand let's go ten percent and that's just going to cost us a hundred twenty one dollars a month to to eat lunch but what if we say that we're going to eat lunch uh, eat out a lot maybe point nine and then it's going to become $209. Well, what Scenario Manager helps us do is put out different scenarios where we don't have to type that down. It also gives us the option to go ahead and put a table together that neatly puts them all into one view. So let's go ahead and see how we can use Scenario Manager. So I go into the Data tab, go into the Data Tools, What If Analysis, and select Scenario Manager. And you can see I've already created some here where our low, medium, high, the low is going to be 10%, medium is going to be 50%, and high is going to be 10%. Now these are selected already, and let's go ahead and see what will show us for low. So if we had low, or showed that earlier at 10%, it would be $121, medium is going to be 50%. You see that when I click on that, it changed that and you give 165%. And on high, if I show that, we get 209%. And in order to create these, uh, let's say for example, we want to, I'll show you how, how it works. Uh, edit is the same as add. So we go to edit and we, we name our scenario and then our changing cells. This is the cells that we want to change. I selected all of this, but really I'm only changing that. And you can see once I, that's selected, then I go into the next part. If I go click OK, it's going to bring another window that lets me, uh, of those cells that I selected, what values do I want to change? And I only change D2, which is making that 10% for the low value. Let me go ahead and click OK and go into medium and I'll show you what medium looks like. So medium is going to be the same thing where you you put in your scenario name. Uh, these are the cells you're changing, B2 to D2 here in this instance. Click OK. We have another window. And we have our $5 here, our $10 here for C2. And of course, the change here is 50%. So I'll go and click OK for that one. And of course, let me go to high and show you what that looks like. I go to edit, same here. Now the serial name is eat out high. And our changing cells is the same. Click OK. And now you can see the change is in 0.9%. So I click OK. And once you see that, you know, if I go through any of these, I select it and show it, it will show the output and the scenario changes for each of them. Now the nice thing also about the scenario manager is you can look at a summary. If I click on summary here, and it's going to ask me which one is my result cell, which is going to be this one. If I click OK, it's going to chart out a table of the scenario. So eating out low at 10%, it's going to give you a value of $121 for the month, 50% and 165%, and then 90% uh, 209. So as I mentioned before, with Scenario Manager, you can change multiple variables. Let's go back and see how we can change that, or we can add it. So let's say, for example, maybe buying lunch, uh, maybe that's actually too low. Maybe buying lunch, we, we move to a, a, a different part of the town for work, and the areas to eat there are a little bit more expensive. So instead of $10, it's, oops, let me go, let me go and change it in the Scenario Manager. Instead of $10, it's $15. So we go under our Web Analysis Tools and create different scenarios. But let's say that, you know, we also have our eat out, uh, this variable, which at low, medium, high is 10, 
50 and 90 percent respectively. We're just going to create new scenarios. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new scenario, a new scenario, and go and call this eat out, eat out low. But this is going to be the expensive, and I'll put this down as buy high. So basically, it's going to be a I'm going to buy lunch, but it's going to be a higher cost, and the value is going to still be the same. These are the changing cells. I'll go ahead and click OK, and the cell that I want to change here, I want to change this to 15. Okay, and I don't need to click OK. I can actually, actually, if I wanted to add additional ones, I'll just click Add. And it'll bring up another Add scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one uh, Eat Out Medium. So this is the medium chance that I'm going to eat out. Um, let me go ahead and click OK. Whoops. Let me go ahead and uh, change this one. Actually, let me go ahead and change this one. Let me edit this first. Let me make sure this one was low and this one at 10% because I said this one eat out low so that should be 10% alright so I click OK and we can test this alright low is 132 let me add another one it will be eat out low but we're gonna buy uh, high or eat out medium eat out medium buy high so it's gonna be expensive lunch these are the cells I'm gonna change so medium is 0.5 and then this can this is going to be 15 still click add Okay, I'm going to call this one Eat Out High by High. All right? So I want to make sure this is, this is going, we're, we're going to be eating out and the cost is high. We're also going to be buying high. It's going to be high price. Click OK. Let me go and just double check if I made this correct. This is Eat Out Low by High. Let me go edit this. So this should be low, Eat Out Low. It's 10%, the chance of meeting out or low 10%, but the buying lunch is high $15. Click OK, that's right. And the same here. This is going to be eating out medium. Medium chance is 50%, but it's going to be expensive lunch, $15. All right. And this one, eat out high, buy high. I'm going to go edit that and click OK. And the chances that we're going to go eat out is high, 90%, and the lunches are expensive at $15. Click OK. And now the same here. When I click on that, you can you notice that now that's 10%. That shouldn't that shouldn't change, right? Because that's the one we're currently at. But now if I click on medium, click show, you can see that change. Click on high, uh, you know chances are high, buy high, and click show. That should change. If I go to these earlier ones, it will change back to $10, right? So if I click show, you'll see that change back to $10 and shows that. And now I can actually click the summary. It's going to go ahead and show a table with all of these variables. So let me go ahead and just check this one again. That stays at $10. That goes $165. Go to eat out high. Click show and it goes to 209 And if I want to click the summary, it will open up another summary tab. It asks to see the result sales, which is that one. Click OK. A new tab will show up and it will show the different scenarios. So uh, chances of eating out are low, medium, high, at a at $10 price for lunch. You see our values here. Now here's our other set that we added, eating out low, medium, and high, but we're buying lunch at a high cost at $15, and it shows uh, the output here, the different outputs based on the changing variables. Now according to Microsoft, your scenario can have multiple variables, like, like a data table. I have another video on data tables. You can have, uh, depending on what kind of data table, you can have one variable data table or two variable data, data table. But with a scenario manager, you can have uh, multiple variables. But for each variable, you can have only up to 32 values. So uh, if you want to do a very complex scenario, you can do that. But depending on your scenario, you probably don't want to make it too complex. You just want to do some, some what if analysis and make some quick decisions out of that. So there you go. There's a simple example of how you can use the what if analysis tool called Scenario Manager. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.